I believe that the naming of a department is the single most important act of trust that can be bestowed. It demonstrates faith to the quality of the program and belief and trust for its uh, future potential. Chemical engineer and material science were prior to June 1, 2005, two separate departments. They were both successful departments with high quality faculty but below critical mass. Petroleum engineering produced uh, a lot of distinguished alumni. John Mork, for example, was one of them. I, uh, as a kid, was always interested in the great eras of exploration. I would have uh, loved to have lived with Magellan or, or Lewis and Clark, and uh, I still get excited about uh, exploring for oil and gas and finding things and that, all the technology that goes with that. John and I met, believe it or not, on a blind date, and I opened the door and I thought, this might be the guy. I was dead broke uh, when I left SC. My father, now he'd always been a, uh, a wildcatter, and he had uh, raised enough money to drill this well in West Virginia, and uh, then had a minor heart attack. And he said, John, would you drill that well for me? And long story short, after uh, six weeks, I had it uh, so screwed up, I felt guilty. Quit Unical to try and straighten things out, and I was left uh, with a company with about $50,000 in assets, uh, $100,000 in liability, no cash, and no employee. Julie, my love of my life and my lifetime partner, really ran the other half of the company for years. I did bookkeeping, I did you know, all of the reception stuff, I did some land work, some legal work, and it was a very, very different experience for me. It was a, a really a very difficult three or four years. Lean years really means lean years. We had many, many in the early days when we didn't even file a tax return. Uh, in late 1976 and early 77, we drilled two wells and then drilled 200 in the middle without drilling a dry hole. Listen, I was the crummiest student around. I was hanging on barely by my uh, fingernails through here. And certainly the training I got benefited me wonderfully in business and in this career. I met John Mark in his office in Denver, Colorado, and I wanted to talk to him, being an engineering school alumnus, about my plans for the engineering school uh, of building excellence. I was just astounded at, at Max's intellect and leadership and the way he's changing things. Walking out of his office, I had this strange feeling. I felt I have known John Mark for many, many years. I really liked him. He's gotten me more involved and I have been Literally more involved in the last three or four years than I was in the previous uh, 30 years. Now John is a member of the uh, Board of Councillors and he has been an active participant. But also he has been someone that I would call and uh, get advice from when I was a Dean of the Engineering School. I think it really has been fun for him to get back involved at uh, Southern Cal. You know, I know a lot of it was prompted with Ali going to USC. From the moment I stepped onto campus at USC, for the very first visit I knew that I wanted to be there. It was just an amazing thing for me to be able to tell him every day the new experiences that I was having and to be able to relate with him on what he had done. But what has drawn me back is the absolute wonderful level of education here in all areas. The decision by our family to make the gift to the Viterbi School of Engineering was a really enjoyable experience. They announced to me that they decided as a family to do something very significant for the Viterbi School of Engineering. The Morg family gift brings together three areas, the chemical engineering department, the petroleum engineering program, and also the material sciences department. A single entity that will be able to contribute new great things in their respective areas. That was the right thing to do, to position not only the merch department, but also USC uh, to play a pivotal role in the whole area of biochemical engineering, energy, and also nanotechnology with the creation of new materials. Nanotechnology is the technology of manipulating matter and designing matter at the scale of, let's say, several atoms or several molecules and that will create materials that have properties that at this point we cannot even imagine. 
this is the reason we have allocated also significant laboratory space in our new Tudor Hall of Engineering building for the Mork family department. The entire fifth floor and most of the basement with the nanotechnology laboratories. The two departments will offer expanded undergraduate programs, all within a bachelor's of degree in chemical engineering. It'll bring a lot, of, a lot more students into the chemical engineering program because we are a small department here and hopefully get more international students in the school. And of course, with the great faculty, I think everyone will benefit here. Part of the Mork gift is designed to help retention by offering scholarships and financial support. I'm thrilled that part of what we're able to do with the school is to put some incentives in for uh, undergraduate uh, engineering students. As a young student, I really want to give my thanks to the Mark family for making this possible. I must say that uh, I had to use my persuasive skills to, uh, to convince them, all of them, how important it is uh, not to have this gift as an anonymous gift. My parents have always been very devoted to making sure that it's always about the cause. There is a power that comes with the Mork family name. There will be a lot of students coming into the Mork family department of chemical engineering and material sciences and we want them to be inspired by the success of the Mork family. We are certainly thrilled that this helps to uh, encourage more giving. Families like the Morks, the Viterbis, the Stevenses, the Epsteins, and Tudor, they are what USC is all about. The Mork gift is the first gift in the celebration of the 100 years of engineering. It could not have come at a better time. That will be their legacy to the University of South and California in perpetuity forever. I just think it's so exciting. We're overwhelmed and, and humbled. I think we're all very excited about it and hope it really makes an impact at USC. It's very clear that things are, things are going in the right direction. I'm hopeful that uh, Julie's and my uh, contribution can, uh, can make the future as bright as the past has been.